Good morning, my friends. It's Tuesday, September 3rd, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. This is a mountain in China, Heng Shan, one of the five sacred mountain peaks. And this is a temple, the temple hanging in the air, it's called in Chinese, which I wouldn't dare to say in Chinese. It'd be a massacre of language. These five holy mountains in China are revered by both Buddhists and Taoists. And like the Hebrew people and Jesus, they climbed up the mountain to find God. Or enlightenment or whatever their word was for a divine principle. These mountains were also holy, just like the mountain that Moses walked up to receive the Ten Commandments or the mountain that Jesus walked up to be transfigured. High places. We continue in the book of Job. In chapter 13, Job speaks to his friends very frankly. He says, <laughs> this is a translation from Robert Alter. He says, you are healing quacks. In other words, you're ridiculous. You're wanting me to lie about God and to say that God is just when I didn't do anything wrong and I'm in total agony. Not only does that offend me and not help me at all to give me unsolicited bad advice, <laughs> but it offends God because God knows that it's not that simple and God knows that I'm not being treated fairly. So don't even insult God by pretending that this all makes sense. What an interesting approach. When we try to simplify things and say, Oh, you know, it's God's will that something bad happened. It offends God because it's just not adequate. It's fundamentally false and it feels false. And we try to swallow it and call it faith. But in reality, it's faith is not the acceptance of things that don't make sense. Faith is putting trust in something that you don't understand. And those are two very different things. So Job is mad at his friends because they've given him a lot of advice and none of it is very helpful. And he asks them to be silent. It's really hard when someone we love is in pain. We want to make it better. I know I do. I, I talk too much, especially with my family members. Oh, I give them so much advice <laughs> that they don't want to hear. Oh, can you imagine having a priest as a mother? Oh my gosh. Learning to be quiet when our loved ones are suffering. Learning to honor their suffering and their own journey. To be there for them if they need us, but not to give them advice that comes from a place that is not theirs. It is very difficult to listen. But God listens to us. And we should listen to one another. Not spout out easy answers or unsolicited advice, but rather just sit in the presence of someone who's suffering. Just be. Belong to them as they belong to God. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the beauty of this earth for all the high places all over this planet where we can feel how large you are, how vast. We thank you for our bodies, our minds, our friends, our family. I will pause and let you give thanks for anything you're grateful for this morning.
We ask you, Lord, to bless those who suffer, those who are at war, those who are ill, those who are lonely, those who are troubled in their minds, those who are lost, those who have no home. I will pause and let you speak aloud the names of people who need prayer in your life. You are gracious, almighty God. So gracious and so incomprehensible to us. Help us listen to one another. Help us listen to you and not to spout out easy answers that are inadequate, but rather sit in the silence of the unknown and belong to you. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your son who loves us and gave himself for us. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.